Hey, it's Lissy. It is Saturday, March 5th, 10.37 a.m. So I have a very short window right now because I'm going to meet Alicia at 11. So I'm going to try to squeeze something in. I know I'm overdue. It's been at least a, at least two weeks, maybe three. Last weekend I was in um, New York visiting my sister. I have a new nephew. He was He's just over a month old now. Um, so she has two boys, so I saw the old nephew who's now two years old, the new nephew who's just over a month. It was really fun. Um, you know, a different kind of fun than what I'm used to here <laughs> in my usual day to day. But anyway, it was really nice. Um, so there are a number of things happening. So I did some shopping there at the Westchester Mall. I'm not going to show you that. We'll have to see where we get. Because I may have to do either part of it now, part of it later, or a few videos to catch you up on everything. Um, so anyway, so I guess first I'll start telling you, Alicia's not at Neiman's anymore. She's gone out on her own, which is like super exciting. Um, and so anyway, I'm meeting her, interestingly enough, at Neiman's at 11. And um, we're going to do a little shot. She had been, I had said to you like a month ago, there's all this stuff I was interested in that, um, so Neiman's brought in for me and she's still, I mean, as a, she's still a personal shopper, personal stylist, all that. So she's working with lots of stores, Neiman's included. So anyway, she and I are going over there today to try on a bunch of stuff. But in the meanwhile, I have been piecing together my spring wardrobe. And I'm trying to be thoughtful about it. I know I always say this. <laughs> I'm trying to be thoughtful about it. Um, I don't want to buy, like, I want to buy, you know, some really key pieces, more like statement things that I can wear with, because I, I have so many clothes, so many shoes, and I wear the same things over and over again. So I want to take those things that I really like to wear over and over again and spiff them up with some other things. And the other thing I'm being more thoughtful about is, like I just said, I have all these shoes, but I I don't want to change my shoes. Like I don't want to wear a pair of flats to work and then change into the shoes I really want to wear. I mean, sometimes I do that, but I'd really rather just wear the shoes I want to wear. So I'm trying to veer away, unless it's for like a special event from the heels, the, even, the, even the kitten heels, because those little kitten heels get caught in the bricks, caught in the cobbles. And even if they didn't, just because I walk everywhere, you know, those heels wear down quickly. So I'm at the cobblers, like, like the Valentino rock studs, the little kitten heels, you know, I have a bunch of them. If I wear them, you know, after a few wears, they're at the cobblers, you know, to get the little black thing. Because, you know, you hit um, nail or screw or whatever. You start to hear kind of a metal clacking. So anyway, so that being said, I will show you now the few things I have bought um, just in the last, like actually just this week. So Wednesday morning, I took off of work. Alicia and I went to Neiman's. We went to Dior. We went to the CH Carolina Herrera store and we went to um, Saks for, there was a Stella McCartney's trunk show, which quite frankly, I was disappointed in. I felt like the pieces they had in for the trunk show, like there just wasn't anything. Like I love Stella McCartney. I love the lot, like her blazers are, like I have three of them. For me, they fit me well, they're classic, they're well made. And then there are a few other things that I really like in her like spring collection, but none of it was really there. So anyway, so okay, meeting the requirements. I bought these Stuart Weitzman they're called the Real Deal, and they're in Adobe Aniline, which is his nude color. Um, these also come in black, and actually, I think today at Neiman's, I may get them in black also, because they're these are going to be my summer staple sandal. Like, okay, it's probably a four-inch heel, but with an inch and a half platform, so it feels like a much lower heel than it is. Is my music in the background really loud? Hold on. Okay, anyway. So these I am going to love with um, jeans, trousers, skirts, dresses, like everything. And they're really, real. Stuart Weitzman's are generally, I find, very comfortable. And these are very comfortable. So 
Oh, if you're interested, for me, also Stuart Weitzman's, I always have to go half a size lower. So while I'm generally a nine, I'm always an eight and a half in these. That's what I was in these, right? Where's the size? Yeah, eight and a half. Um, so super cute. And in the grand scheme of shoes, I mean, they're not cheap, but they're not, you know, because now you can't get a pair of shoes for under like six or seven hundred dollars. I think these are like four hundred. So that's one thing. Okay, then also on the shoe front. And did we talk about like how awesome this like, see, this is the kind of heel I need, by the way, for prancing around. Anyway, so on the same front. So I had been eyeing. I saw them. I saw them on someone's Instagram, these super cool Dior shoes. And, um, like, I knew I wanted to hunt them down. So Alicia and I went into the Dior store on Wednesday, as I said. And we, um, we they, they didn't have a ton in stock, but they had the shoes I wanted in a higher heel. So they come in, like, a higher heel and a lower heel, block heel. Um, and they didn't have any of the lower heel and they had the higher heel but not in my like not in my size and then they were going to try to get me the lower heel one and they called me that afternoon and said oh we can't find it or you know I don't know we have it but not exactly in your size do you want this blah 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 and I kind of wrote it off meanwhile Alicia was in New York and she went into the Dior store and they had my size so they were going to send it to me come yesterday and actually, I was impressed because I was actually kind of impressed. Someone else from Dior in Boston, not one of the people I had dealt with on Wednesday, texted me to say, we got the shoe you wanted in your size. And I was like, great. So I went and tried it on, bought it. And the girl in New York hadn't, like, rang me up or shipped me anything yet. So the Dior shoes. Oh, look, they wrap them so nicely. Um, it's like a gift to myself lighting yeah so pretty I almost don't want to open it but um anyway and how much time do I have like maybe five minutes okay these shoes are awesome so I probably should insert a picture so you could really see but basically they're this cute um ankle wrap like this wraps around your ankle twice oh sorry I'm like let's see right now but so this strap wraps wraps around your ankle twice they're patent black nude and white and like look at this nice sensible heel they're awesome I kind of hemmed and hawed over them because I'm like am I gonna get sick of them but you know Alicia and I as we discuss all important fashion decisions <laughs> She was like, Lissy, I was really thinking about it. And because there was this other pair of um, like red John Vito Rossi sandals. I was like, you know, maybe I'd get those instead of these. But she's like, these are so you. They're so different. Um, and I will wear these like, they'll be super cute with like ankle pants. They'll be really cute with little dresses and skirts. Like, I think I will wear these a lot this spring. Um, so anyway, that's the pair of Dior shoes that I got. And interestingly enough, so I got them in a 39. If you are interested in these, um, in the higher heel, the 39, like, no way fit me. In the lower heel, it did. Where did I put the bag? Oh, I don't know, the dust bag. Okay, so that's that. And then, okay, I will show you one more thing. Um, so also, while I was wandering around on... Wednesday with Alicia. Now, for the most part, anything I saw, we took pictures of so we could kind of like think about it. So I'm not making rash fashion choices. <laughs> anyway, um, but there was one thing that I did buy Wednesday right off the bat because I loved it. So it's this Marnie. Um, oh no, it's not Marnie. Sorry. It's Dries Van Noten. Why did I think it was Marnie? You know why? I think, no, I have a Dries dress. Anyway, so it's Dries Van Noten. Um, with this, like, this kind of utility jacket, oversized, super cool sleeve. Hold on, let me see. I don't have time to really be. I'll just put it over my little get up here so you can. Okay, so basically. Yeah. 
So like, just really, actually I gotta take it. It's been like in the bags. I bought it the other day, so it's all wrinkled. But it's really cute with like jeans and stuff. I love the big bell sleeve, like skinny jeans. I'm gonna love it with skinny jeans. And it's just gonna be an easy like spring jacket. And actually even in the summer, cause you know at work, I always need a jacket in the summer cause the air conditioning is always pumping. Um, so I think that's it for now cause it's 10:48 and I have to go. But I will definitely, like I said, I have, I bought a few things um, at the Westchester Mall last weekend. And then I know at Neiman's today, like, they brought in a few things for me, and I have a feeling a couple things are coming home with me. So anyway, happy Saturday. I missed you guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.